going on everybody? Welcome back to Winger's Point of View. So today we're going to be going over my 60 round rifle tune-up. Um, this was also a request from a subscriber who said, hey man, I don't really know exactly what to do when I go out. So I came up with what I call the rifle tune-up, which is basically it covers a lot of drills that you'll see from other YouTubers. Uh, T-Rex Arms has some of these drills in like his 50 round rifle standard my rifle assessment which if you haven't watched that go check that out uh, some of these drills will be covered in the rifle assessment as well but generally what this is is it's just a group of drills that if you have limited time and a limited round count if you do all these drills this is one a good way to stay proficient because all these drills will hit generally all of the fundamentals of marksmanship when you're shooting up close but it'll also get you moving it'll get your heart rate up and it's a good way to gauge once you start running around and actually shooting multiple targets, it's a good way to shoot something other than just fundamental drills. So what this starts off with, I've got my notes over here. We start off with headshots from the high ready and the low ready. So let's get into this. This first set of drills is done from seven yards. Okay. High ready first. Five. Low ready. Six zero. Both are in there. Our next one is going to be a bill drill from seven yards. I'm going to sprint to the 25 yards and then do two rounds in the head. So bill drill chest, sprint to 25 yards, two rounds in the head. So there's my bill drill and my two shots to the head. Total time was a 786. Bill drill was in a 158 and then ran back split time 567. So from here we're going to move up just a tad so we're no longer exactly 25, but I'm trying to get a little bit closer to these front targets. I'm about seven-ish and about seven from each of these and then probably closer to 15 yards from that back target. So I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna do two rounds left, wide transition, two rounds right target. All right, so they're both in there. They're both in that little A zone in the chest. That was in a 227. My next one is going to be two rounds each target. I'm going to sprint across. And as I'm sprinting across, I'm going to do two rounds on the back target. I'm then going to do an additional two rounds on the opposite end. So I'm going to do from here, two rounds on each of these. As I'm running across, two rounds on the back, and then two rounds on each of those. Here we go. That was in a 791. You saw me kind of stutter um, as I came across. I was going to break the gun down, but the run wasn't that short. I was moving pretty good as I came across, and I really like doing movement laterally, not just forward and back. So the next drill we have is going to be a box drill on this left set of targets. So seven yards. Those of you that don't know, a box drill is two to the chest on either target and then one to the head subsequently, so you create a box. So two to the chest, two to the chest, one to the head, one to the head. And that was in a two, three, eight. So we're good on these guys. Headshots are clean. Same with these guys. And then we'll go down and we'll check that one down there at the end. All right, so my next drill is gonna be a two reload two. I'm not a big fan of one reload ones. 
So I like to do two reload twos or multiple rounds into a unexpected reload. So let me set this up real quick. left target here. That was in a 429 with the reload in a 326. So not bad. We're making standards for the reloads. Our next drill is a wide transition drill. So I'm going to be doing two on each target. But I'm going to go two on the left, two on the right, two on the left, two on the right, and then I'm going to finish with two in the middle. That was in a total time of five, six, seven. Next, we're going to be doing the near far drill on the move. So my near far on the move is going to be from about where the camera is. I'm going to be doing two rounds on each target, finishing on the far target, but I'm going to be constantly moving toward that far target. So I'll put you guys down there and then I'll start the drill. All right, now my last drill is what I like to call the interrupted build drill. So this last drill, I'm gonna go ahead and load three rounds into this empty mag. I'm gonna shoot a build drill as fast as I can, conducting a reload in the middle. So here we go. Let me move you guys. Real quick, before the camera dies, let's go check hits. So we're all good. I actually dropped one on that moving drill right here. It's very important to know when you drop these rounds. And I called it uh, while I was moving. So that's another thing with this you know, set of drills is self-identification, being able to know when you mess up. That's a huge part of shooting because then you know like, oh, I took a step, I fired, it wasn't a really big thing, or like I'm jerking the shit out of the trigger and I need to stop doing that. So self-identification, self-diagnosis, super important. And it also helps when you do these kind of drills, you can start to build that self-diagnosis. We're still good. All the rounds are on the inside of the little A zone that we got there. And finally, targets on the right. All right, guys. So that was my 60 round rifle tune up. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what you guys get for times. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah, we'll catch yeah, you real yeah.